Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and welcome to an episode of Let's Talk About Games, formerly known as the Game Feed. I know you're probably wondering why I have not done one of these in a while. Um, the reason why is the fact that I'm kind of torn between YouTube, Twitch, and I'm doing little skits, and plus I started a new job and everything, so I haven't really got a chance. But I want to go ahead, since I made that promise, I'm going to try to get at least one of these a week, including the... Let's talk and, you know, maybe a skit from here to then. But you can always catch my streams at twitch.tv forward slash pants06. And if you somehow miss them, they come out. You can also check them out on YouTube. I usually send the VODs this way. Um, but you can also catch the stream on YouTube as well, Smashcast and uh, Mixer. So if you get a chance, if you're bored, usually around 9.30 to 11.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. I'll be on. We have a ton of fun, so, yeah. So, that self-promotion's over. Oh, yeah. Be sure to smash that like button. Smash the follow buttons. Just publicly humiliate those buttons. <laughs> Anyways, what we're going to talk about today is something that everybody's talked about, and that is the industry with the microtransactions, the loot boxes, and games as a service, which I hate to talk about it because... You know, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at this point, and, you know, no matter how much bitching I do, or anybody else, it doesn't help. Just due to the fact that the numbers does not e <laughs> show that people hate these services, they don't. I mean, Activision made $4 billion off microtransactions and digital goods. Uh, EA sold 9 million copies of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and said the game was a failure. Ubisoft is now seeing, since the since um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, The Division, and Rainbow Six Siege, they're wanting to do a more games of a service. Microsoft's in that boat, Sony's in that boat, they're all in that boat. The one, one company I've noticed it's not is Bethesda, which is weird, uh, but they do have uh, their MMOs, the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if you see that later on, another games as a service thing. And I hate the fact that it's going this route. Um, now, there is government legislation that is getting involved throughout the United States and the rest of the world um, that are trying to lay down the law in terms of how these loot crates and tra microtransactions are handled. Because right now, they're technically paid to win in some cases. Uh, no longer are they just cosmetic, what you see in Overwatch or some other games. That feel like Warframe. Warframe is a free-to-play game. And it technically doesn't have anything that makes the game more... <sighs> No strong, no no players way stronger than the other. It's all that I know of is cosmetics, which is cool, which is really cool. And I guess you can get high level gear just like Destiny, and you know, <clears throat> it sucks the fact that everybody's chasing the Destiny bone now. Back in the day, everybody was chasing the Halo. They was chasing trying to get the this is the Halo killer, this is the Call of Duty killer. Um, now people want the Destiny killer. And you, you've seen a few games that's been laid out just like Destiny. And, you know, they have the same practices, the same business practices, the microtransactions, the season passes, and the big special editions. And that's been common. And I'm kind of happy the fact that some of these, like the government, is getting involved with this stuff. Uh, as much as that irks me, the fact that it's come down to this, I believe it's probably for the best. Now, um, in the case of microtransactions and season passes, I have personally, personally, in the last few years, I've only spent uh, 60 or 70 bucks on season passes. And this was either due to the fact that it was on sale or the game had a justification for it. A good example would be Fallout. Um, Fallout. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> um, I haven't really seen another game that's really worth the season pass. Because, um, I mean, either the the DLC is, like, really shitty and just, you know, an afterthought, or it's just, you know, cash grab. But, um, 
I haven't really spent that much money on a season pass or microtransaction. I don't even think it, I, I buy. I, I'll take that back. I bought microtransactions on Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is the only game that I've bought a microtransaction for in years. And the reason why I do that is the fact that it's a free to play game, and I play this game religiously. I still do, even though the numbers are going down. I still play this game religiously. <laughs> don't don't judge me. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I just kind of hate how everything's going. I'm I'm kind of happy that the government is stepping in on this. Um, I I don't want to see all my games be a games of a service platform. I want my single player games. I want you know my multiplayer games, but you know, doesn't require me to spend tons and tons of money on it. Gives me a chance to improve my uh, equipment and stuff just due to skill alone. I mean, you don't really see that that much anymore, and it sucks. It really does. And I, you know, I've said this before a uh, previous video, but I also said, you know, back in January that I would make a follow-up to this, and now I finally can. Uh, the good news is, Disney apparently is getting ready to get could get a contract with a different developer so that they don't have to deal with EA just due to the fact that they really fucked Disney and Star Wars as a franchise. I don't know how that reflected in terms of the movie sales. I, I don't imagine that would have any problems with it, but I know it affects their gaming division, and Disney is wanting to take care of their baby. That's their new baby. It's their, their billion-dollar baby. And, you know, I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. I, I kind of kind of like that. And I hope this serves as a, uh, a warning to any other publisher that decides to fuck around. Um, but, yeah, um, that's been a problem. It's been a problem for a while. And, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like these issues. I, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to hop on a game, a single-player game, and see microtransactions. Uh, a good example was uh, Shadow of War, sequel to Shadow of Mordor. How the fuck did that happen? Like, how the fuck does microtransactions and pay to win come into a single player game? Think about it. A single player game. And I think they're single use microtransactions. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty sure they're single use. So think about that. You're, you're wasting your money on these, this. Say you want to play through the game again, and you make it to the ending of the game where that's where all the grinding is. You know, everybody's doing all the grinding at the end of the game where you're doing, going you know to different forts and stuff like that to try to conquer everything. And it takes it's a really big grind. So you know you do it once and you're you know you pay for it, and the second time you want to play through it, you have to buy this again. They want you to purchase this again because it's one time. It's a one-time transaction, and it's bullshit. It's big time, big time bullshit. Uh, I still haven't purchased that game. I haven't purchased Star Wars Battlefront Two. Right now, we're playing Battlefront One, and like I said, Star Wars Battlefront, even number one and two, they're not bad games. They're really not. They're not terrible games at all. Uh, <laughs> they're probably the most authentic Star Wars games. Uh, sound quality, everything, and the gameplay's fine. It plays like any other first-person shooter. It's just the fact that they had to be a part of a, a problem, a big serious problem, and that's with their publisher. You know, and you know, EA's already said, hey, we're going to go ahead and put that shit back in there one more time. We're going to go ahead and do it six months after the fact that it came out, maybe three or four months. Maybe It's a three or four, maybe six, I don't know. But anyways, they're already trying to do that again, and it sucks. It really does. And I hate the fact that we have to endure that. I, I say it like it's like a life-threatening thing. It's not. It, I mean, it's, it's just video games, but it's something I care for. You all care for it, obviously. If you're watching this video, you care about video games, and you hate to see that shit. But, um, yeah, uh, I don't really have too much else to say about it, honestly. I just wanted to get something out here for you guys. Just this, you know, I promise. I promised that at the beginning of the week that I would put out a gaming video. And here it is. <laughs> and, uh, I, I always do my videos as a 
you know, it's more personal. I don't like to do quick cuts or anything like that, and I probably should. Um, but I like to be more personal. And we talked about this on Twitch the other day about being personal with the videos, and that's how I do things. On Twitch, it's totally different. Um, I'm more, I'm not reserved. I am just myself. <laughs> But other than that, guys, I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. I uh, hope you check out my streams. We have a ton of fun on there. We have quite a few people. And you can feel free to be able, uh, hop on my Discord. I'll stop stuttering. Next video will be better. I'll have it more planned out. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.